this session, we're going to go over what I call the Back to the Future Portrait Enhancement Technique. Back to the Future is referring to Photoshop's History Brush and History Palette. And if you look in the Layers Palette, we're just going to work right on the original background layer and go right to our Blur Filter under Filter Blur. As a matter of fact, we can use just about any of these Blur Filters to create this Back to the Future Enhancement Technique. I think we'll use the Surface Blur Filter because what we want to do is create that porcelain look. And as you can see, the Blur Filter as it is is just about uh, usable just like it is except for the eyes and the nose and lips. But it's a very beautiful effect. So I'm going to set the Blur Radius and the Threshold to create a nice smooth transition between the highlight regions and the shadow regions of this face. I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK. Let's now go to the History Palette and create a History Snapshot. At the very bottom of the History Palette is this little icon of a camera. If we click this, it creates a snapshot of the image with this blurred condition. Next, we can go back one step in History, and that takes us back to the original image. At this point, we want to click in this column and this sets the history brush icon right next to snapshot one which is our blurred history state and we can use the history brush to paint back in certain properties as a matter of fact let's go to the history brush and in the option bar at the top we're going to change the blending mode to the darken blend mode and we'll use an opacity setting somewhere between 15 and, and 40 percent let's take this up to about 38 percent now, what we're going to do is start painting just the darkened part of the history state over the skin tone, avoiding painting on the hair, avoid painting on the eyes, lips, and teeth. This is actually a very slow buildup of uh, the density, so it takes just a little bit of patience, but it yields just a beautiful controlled result. So as we paint around the face, remember we're just painting in the darkened blend mode. And I consider this putting on kind of a, a base makeup in regards to this technique. And of course with women, we want to make sure to get their neckline as well. And once again, this is a very slow buildup. Also, during the course of doing this, we want to change our brush size. And I've got a smaller brush coming around the eyes here. Also, you might notice that this is actually flattening the specular highlights. Well, at the very end, we're going to bring those back from the original snapshot, as you'll see in just a moment. So right around the lips, once again, I'm using a soft edge brush, no hardness in the settings here. And this is looking quite nice. The next thing we're going to do is switch the blend mode over to the lightened blend mode and start painting back over the same regions. And you can see a beautiful skin tone start to appear here. I'm using a starting out here with a small brush, so we'll get around the eyes and the areas that we need a smaller brush with. And right around the lips, being careful not to paint on the lips and the nostrils. And this is looking quite beautiful. Now I'll get a bigger brush, typing the right bracket key, and just go ahead and paint back over the regions around the skin tone. And look how beautiful the skin tone is appearing now. It's just kind of that porcelain skin tone look. And it's very controlled here, instead of going over the entire regions. And of course we'll get the neckline. Let's go look back into the History Palette, and what we want to do is paint the specular highlights back in to the image. To do that, we're going to set the History State, our brush, to paint from the original snapshot. By default, Photoshop creates a snapshot of the image when you originally open it. So we're going to click in this column right next to the original snapshot, and because we're still in the Light and Blend mode, we can paint back in the original specular highlights. And this will bring this image alive.
And so we can see the before and after. I'm going to create a history snapshot of the image in its current condition just by clicking on the snapshot. And I'll scroll to the top of the history palette. And let's click on the original snapshot icon. This is before and this is after. And you can see the beautiful skin tone effect this technique has created. The Back to the Future Portrait Enhancement Technique.